Hello guys, back again to Exynos 990 powered S20 gaming video. In my previous video, we see the big optimization improvement on gaming in this device, right? Uh, let's find out how is the situation in the Genshin Impact. Many devices still struggle running this game. It is super super heavy game to run it. Anyway, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Let's start this video. As always, let me disable cause game optimizing service set the graphic setting to medium it doesn't make sense to set it to the highest graphic as no one is going to play their game in the highest setting even on the pc and the most important is that this game has really optimization issue in android devices the temperature is as usual let's start As you can see, it's just uh, around the 2 minutes and the game cannot run uh, in 60 FPS right from the beginning. This game is really so huge. This game takes almost more than 5 or 6 GB of storage of the device. As you can see, like uh, this is a very graphic oriented game. It's uh, so so much things to discover, you know. And maybe that's why the game is like cannot uh, perform you know, for 60 FPS. And of course, this is a, an RPG open world game and to be honest you really really do not need to have a 60 fps to play this game so i always said uh, when i play this game in my mobile phones i always set it to 30 fps but i most importantly i want to just enjoy the open world As you can see, it's just eight minutes of playing the game. The surface temperature is around 47 degrees Celsius. It's a bit high, it's just eight minutes, but let's see. It keeps increasing or not. Just forget about 60 FPS, okay? You cannot achieve that.
the graphic quality of this game is really really so if you are someone who play watch too much uh, too many anime then of course this graphic quality you will ob obviously love this game the pc version is even more more better you know you can run exclusively very very neat and clean graphic of this game in the pc So to build minutes of playing the game, the surface temperature is as before. It's about 47 degrees Celsius and it's not going up, right? So I think uh, if you play this game, uh, Discipline Ghost, if you wanna like uh, high FPS gaming, then you don't have to worry, you know? Like there is a certain limit that you, this device will not exceed that highest temperature. Alright, around 70 minutes of gaming, the device surface temperature reaches around 51 to 52 degrees Celsius. It is really crazy, right? It feels very warm, like uh, the device is really really warm. And this game will make this device, uh, you can cook breakfast, right? <laughs> uh, let's see the result. The average FPS is 43.3. If you check the graphic, it's kind of brutal, right? The game ran already was too much totaling in the FPS graph. You can see the CPU uses graphic also. It is really high in comparison to other graphic-oriented mobile games. Surprisingly, the battery cons uh, the battery also consumes around 6 watt. Just about 17 minutes of gaming. This res result seems quite uh, underwhelming, right? And by the end, if you want to play properly this game, I would really recommend to use medium graphic and set the FPS to 30 FPS. This can give better experience and also prolong the gaming session by not eating up the battery power. 60 FPS is used for this device, particularly for this gaming, for uh, Genshin Impact. This is just an RPG game, right? And you and you really do not need the higher F frame rate setup to enjoy it. For the first person shooter games like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty, or Apex Legend, the FPS is really really very important. So that's uh, the different kind of genre of the game, right? So, but this one is open world game. You are basically just discovering new things and you really do not need 60 fps so do not force your device to run it 60 fps particularly for this game as it will melt the device this is just a different kind of game i hope you like my video see you soon and make sure you are subscribed thanks